When I first got into recording audio back when I was just 12 years old, I went to a local pawn shop and picked up a blue snowflake, an ultra-budget USB microphone designed for improving call quality on Skype. I always knew that I wanted high-quality sounds in my podcasts and videos, but just didn't know where to look. Five years later, here I am with my Audient ID14, a USB audio interface with preamps so clean, you'd be hard-pressed to find any that sound better for voiceover. When I finally made the switch to XLR-based equipment at the beginning of this year, I bought a used blue spark and blue icicle off eBay. At the time, I didn't think the quality of an audio interface really mattered, so I assumed the icicle was just fine. Less than a month later, I realized that I really missed being able to monitor my audio, aka hear my voice while I was talking, like I could on the Yeti, so I decided to buy a Focusrite Solo. That interface isn't bad for the price, but with such a low amount of clean gain and only one preamp, I knew I would have to upgrade sooner or later. What really prompted the switch for me was when the Focusrite just flat out stopped working correctly and would crash audition every time I used it. In August of this year, I finally decided to upgrade to the Audient ID14, and it was easily the best audio investment I've ever made. Immediately, when I unboxed the unit, I was amazed at the weight of it. It's incredibly well constructed and definitely feels very premium in the hand. All its knobs and buttons have a very nice tactile feel to them, and the gain knob feels much better to turn than the one on my Focusrite. It features a large knob that can be used to control speaker and headphone volume, as well as serving the function of controlling the ID scroll feature, which I never ended up using. The drivers were easy to install, and I was up and running in minutes. The two high-quality preamps on this interface feature 58 decibels of clean gain each, and there is even a high-quality direct input for instruments, which I never really use considering I use this interface primarily for voiceover. The preamps sound amazing and feature incredibly low noise. My chain consists of a blue spark connected by a Mogami XLR cable into the Audient ID14, and when comparing to my old Focusrite, the amount of noise in the recording was significantly less. There is no coloration to the sound of my microphone like there was on the Focusrite, and with the higher amount of gain, I could even plug in a dynamic microphone and have enough gain to work with. It's also nice to know that I have an interface that can grow with me, and won't bottleneck high-end mics. I like knowing that when I do eventually upgrade to something like a Neumann, I won't have to worry about getting a new interface. If you want to know how it sounds, you're listening to it right now, and this is what I've been using the whole video. I used to think that in order to get a good sounding interface, you needed to have a Thunderbolt interface, and then as a result, also have a Mac. The only real advantage I can see to having a Thunderbolt interface is the ability to have less latency when using plugins in real time. But to me, this really doesn't matter. For straight voiceover, this interface doesn't need anything like that, and works just fine plugged in via USB to my Windows laptop. The mic has two phantom power switches, which offer true 48 volt phantom power for your condenser microphones. As a result of this, the interface needs to be plugged into a power outlet in order to use phantom power, and unfortunately, does not feature any on-off switch, which is somewhat annoying because this means you need to unplug the interface every time you turn off your computer. But this is a very small price to pay for such professional sound at this price point. The Audient features a dedicated headphone amp, which provides tons of volume for your headphones. It means you can use headphones with high impedance, aka resistance to volume, and still get a clean sound. I don't own any truly high-end headphones, but when plugged into my ATH M20Xs, the amp sounds excellent. You also have the ability to plug in studio monitors to the back of the unit, but because I don't own any studio monitors, I won't be getting into that in this review. The interface possesses the ability to make just about any microphone sound good. Even my $50 MXL990 sounds great when hooked up to this interface. Now, it's important not to forget that one of the other huge components in good sound is good acoustics so don't expect this interface to fix that problem, but that's a topic for another video. For all kinds of filmmaking and audio tutorials, 
tech and gear reviews, and all things media production. Stay tuned to Ericsson Films. <laughs>